Hey guys, my name's Steven and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be working on my new 1648 John This is gonna be the new series. I just got it yesterday. Look at this thing. This is the new project. So welcome, and wish us luck. So yesterday we went and got this all the way in Reading, PA, and it was four thousand thirty-six dollars for the John boat. It's a uh, sixteen forty-eight modified V Lund John boat, and the trailer, the load right trailer, was thirteen hundred dollars. And um, we towed it back yesterday, and today is day one of our project. So on day one, we went to Home Depot, and we got this pink, beautiful pink sheet of foam here. It's one inch thick, and today we're going to be putting it in the subfloor of our John boat. Um, all you're going to need is a tape measure, a pencil, and a razor knife. And a straight edge is optional if you want your cuts to be super straight. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Here. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get on in the boot. Alright guys, so we only got one sheet, so what we're going to do is the front and the middle, as long as we can fit it, we're going to start in the middle and then we're going to move into the front here. So let's start, we're going to start on this one here. So we are going to need, it looks like uh, 13 and 3 quarters, 13 and 3 quarters. And then, yep, 13 and 3 quarters all the way across. And that is by... Looks like about 4 foot. 13 and 3 quarters by 4 foot. Go ahead and set this beauty up here. See how wide this is. That is 4 foot wide. So all we've got to do is take 13 and 3 quarters just like so. We'll mark it out three times. Just like that. And take a straight edge across there. should be pretty straight. Now we take our razor knife and let's see how see how well we can cut through this here. You don't want to uh, mess it up too bad here. As long as you get it close, it should work. And as long as you cut it, it should be able to. Take it off just like that. All 
right, let's see if we can get it to fit in there. We will put the nice shine pick side up and down. guys. guys now that we finished the middle section of the boat we are going to leave the back section without any extra foam in it um, I've heard uh, some things on the other YouTube channels and things like that that I've watched and it turns out gasoline eats this foam so we're not going to put that in the back near the any of the gas and we are going to go ahead and start on the front portion of the boat now finished the middle and the front deck we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the specs of the boat and what we're gonna be doing next to it so if you guys come back here you can see the plate on the boat says four people or 400 or 555 pounds or 1,014 pounds for the persons, the motor, and the gear. So maximum, we could probably have two to three people on this boat when it's all said and done. We're gonna be doing an all aluminum deck as long as everything goes okay to keep it as light as possible. And we're gonna run a 25 horsepower Yamaha on the back. But this is a brand new boat, guys. I made sure I did it brand new. We're gonna to try to do everything top of the line and we're going to keep a record of all of our receipts and all of the prices so that way you guys can estimate how much it would cost for you to do a john to bass boat conversion as you can see we've got both the middle and the front of the boat done with one sheet it's not absolutely perfect but this should give our boat enough reserve buoyancy in order to stay afloat in the water if we take on any water, unfortunately. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, you know what to do. You guys have a good one.